women are the backbone of agricultural workforce. Due to feminization of agriculture, participation of women in agriculture is increasing, but their contribution remained invisible. Realizing the immense need to address the problem and issues of women in agriculture, India pioneered institutionalizing research on women in agriculture by establishing ICAR's Central Institute for Women in Agriculture at Bhuvaneswar, Odisha. This institution was established in 1996 as the National Research Center for Women in Agriculture. So this institute was again upgraded as a Directorate of Research on Women in Agriculture in 2008 and further it is upgraded in, uh, as a Central Institute for Women in Agriculture in 2014. And this institution is working under the umbrella of Indian Council of Agriculture Research and under the Ministry of Agriculture and Farmers Welfare Government of India. The institute envisions to emerge as a leading center for gender research and serve as a catalyst for gender mainstreaming and women empowerment in agriculture for enhanced productivity and sustainability of agriculture. Institute is implementing various research projects to address its mandate, research on gender issues in agriculture and allied fields, gender equitable agricultural policies, programs and gender sensitive agriculture sector responses in pan-India mode at 13 state agriculture universities in 12 states across the country. The institute has received various awards and recognitions as one of the best agriculture institutes in India, cashless awards, etc. The scientists of the institute have also been awarded at various levels. The institute attests to its scientific acumen by holding two patents, several research papers and numerous gender-friendly technologies developed by it. Institute organizes global conferences, national consultations, consultation of SARC countries for empowerment of women in agriculture. ICR SIVA made important efforts in networking and collaborating with various international national partners, private partners for creating an impact on society for women empowerment. ICR SIVA has elaborate facilities to achieve the hefty goal set upon it. Let us see some of the facilities. Technology block. The institute has a technology block comprising of exhibition room, a meeting room with a sitting capacity of approximately 500 persons. There are also four annex training rooms with sitting capacity of 50 each. It has state-of-the-art facilities and has already hosted several international and national programs. The trainees hostels. Trainees hostels and women's farmers hostel can accommodate 25 and 28 participants respectively for various training programs. They provide array of rooms like suites, double occupancy and dormitory. The institute is also in process of building an international trainees hostel. The manufacturing unit. The training and manufacturing unit which was established under the RKVY project comprises of various manufacturing machinery which helps in fabrication of women friendly tools and equipments. The library facilities. The institute's library holds over 300 books, research journal, digital database in the field of gender and women's studies to facilitate researchers and students. Easy retrieval and issue of books to the subscriber is possible due to complete automation of library. The institute also prints its publication with an ISBN number reserved for it at a national agency. The scientists of SIVA are facilitated by SERA for online access and sharing of journal literature. The GKS portal. The institute has a well-structured online gender database portal known as the Gender Knowledge System in Agriculture based on gender disaggregated data, technologies, methodologies, etc. which may help the stakeholders at a national and international level. The SAS model or the Sustainable Agriculture System model aims to demonstrate successful integrated agriculture models 
to the women stakeholders it has various components like high tech greenhouses shade nets goatry poultry fish ponds vermicompost units etc the research farms the institute has research farm of 32 acres including 15 acres area under different horticultural and field crop as well as livestock and fisheries the institute has well developed demonstration units for various agro enterprises including horticulture based cropping models vermicompost units integrated fish poultry duck unit and ornamental fish units for important training to rural women large scale multiplication of planting material of guava mango cashew nut and pineapple has also been taken up to promote revenue generation the laboratories well equipped laboratories with analytical facilities in field of agronomy entomology ergonomics post harvest technology horticulture seed technology animal science fisheries and gender data center are available in the institute the training facilities the conference room of a sitting capacity 150 committee room with sitting capacity of 35 and directors committee room with sitting capacity of 15 are available in institute which have been used in various training and capacity building programs the institute also has mous with various universities so student can do their masters phd's and in plant trainings in our campus the research in the institute is done in program mode to achieve an integrated solution for farm women of entire country the first program focuses its research activities on standardization of methodologies for livelihood analysis food nutrition health and environmental security in the context of farm women and relevant interventions in different agro ecosystem In the current year efforts are made to empower women through gender dimensions and ascertaining the sectoral contribution of women in agriculture and allied fields. The second program is community based technological interventions for livelihood security and entrepreneurship development for farm women. Currently the entrepreneurship models will be based on fish, livestock and value added products of fruit, vegetable and rice. The third program is developing vulnerability framework for women in agriculture and appropriate interventions for drudgery reduction by ergonomically studying farm tools and equipments with women's perspective. The last program is assessment, development and popularization of gender friendly agri hoti technologies for multiplying income and enhancing skill of women in agriculture. focusing on nutrition and income of farm women through integrated vertical nutra farming system the institute also leads the country through all india coordinated research project on home science which has been proposed as a crib on women in agriculture which is operating at 13 centers in 12 states the farm women were benefited from ecrip technologies such as low glycemic index food high fiber multigrain mix nutri dense ready to use mix mobile app on diet on diabetes menopause and parenting rural women found income generation through products developed from underutilized fiber eco based fabrics and dyes etc this project developed 21 tested and recommended 51 improved technologies for farm women to address drudgery issues in 11 production systems An All India Coordinated Research Project on Ergonomics and Safety in Agriculture Center is also functioning at the institute to take up the ergonomic issues of women farmers in rural areas for enhancing income of farm household technologies and methodologies models were developed tested and refined Some of the models are resource efficient horticulture model for improved nutrition and income of small holders low cost backyard poultry farming low cost poultry feed utilizing acid treated and fermented fish silage integrated pest management model low cost weaning mix and azola based low cost poultry feed these were adopted at village level for increasing their income and fulfilling family nutrition 
Efforts have been made to develop gender sensitization micro lab, gender sensitive agri nutri farming model, doubling farmers income model, developing and strengthening GK's portal. Scientists have also conducted studies in nutritional status of farm women, study of drudgery in fisheries sector, mapping the livestock and gender participation of women in agriculture, peri urban dairy, and backyard poultry. A successful women entrepreneur was established for value added fish product through technical backstopping and facilitation to obtain FSSI and trade license with market linkages. The tribal women were empowered through secondary agriculture. Disc reserve was developed to reduce women's drudgery in ridging operation. Various externally funded projects focused on development of model, enhancing productivity, and empowering women through mechanization and value added products. The institute also conducts various national flagship programs like Mera Gav, Mera Gaurav, Tribal Sub Plan Program. Aspirational District Program, Swachh Bharat Abhiyan, and the Scheduled Caste Sub Plan Program for overall development of agrarian families, especially farm women. ICR Siva, by the virtue of its uniqueness, is the only institute working on women in agriculture at a global level. The scientists are striving hard and giving their best output to empower women farmers by addressing. The issues such as food and nutritional security, livelihood empowerment, and technological empowerment. These can only be achieved when women farmers get their proper recognition, access to get resources, linkages with line department, access to credit and marketing facilities, and availing various government welfare schemes for their socio economic upliftment. Ultimately, this will also be able to create women agripreneurs and leaders who may contribute to the growth and development of women in agriculture. Institute welcomes people, agencies, institutions across the globe to join the hand for the empowerment of women in agriculture globally.